Okay, I've recorded and never uploaded a video on this exact same topic probably five or six times now, but I think I finally have the right mindset to really get my point across on this one, okay? It, it was inspired by Gary Rogers in a, I, I can't remember if it was Skateline or if it was one of his Gary Responds videos, but he basically said that uh, the reason people talk so much shit about Nike is because they've got Nike money and they still use sweatshops. And he even pointed out, I, I believe, or maybe that was one of my videos that I'm just pretending was his. But uh, but he pointed out that that other big companies like Emerica or Lakai or Vans or whatever, they're using sweatshops too. But the difference is that they don't have Nike money. So if you look at a, a Nike sweatshop, which is what they are, a lot of you guys have probably never worked in a factory because a lot of you are younger. But factories get hot. They're not air conditioned. They they might have big ass fans in them, but they don't really cool down ever. And uh, or or worse, they get really really cold. And if you look at a Nike factory, there's just people stacked on top of people on top of people. Every two inches, it's a okay. That's an exaggeration. Every but probably five feet. Everybody's got about five feet where they've got their little sewing table and they sit there and they sew shoes all day. That's what they do and they get paid terribly for it, and they're not given any special housing or anything like that. And Nike has Nike money. Nike can afford to build apartment buildings for everybody that works in those factories, but they don't. And that's the problem that people have with Nike. They've got all this money, and they're not giving any of it to the people that are lower down in the company. They're just continuing to profit at the top. Now, does this happen with other companies? Yes, but again, America doesn't have enough money to go and build, you know, they're not, they're not using, America doesn't even have their own factories, okay? <laughs> they're using the same factories as other shoe companies, so they don't even have full control over a lot of that stuff. Nike, on the other hand, has their own factories, and they do have control over that stuff. So that's why people give Nike such a hard time about using slave labor, or whatever you want to call it, sweatshops. That's... that's and I really, I appreciate Gary Rogers for having the balls to say that because a lot of people, especially on YouTube, aren't willing to do that. They aren't willing to potentially sacrifice the, the, the big money that comes from Nike advertisements. And that's pretty cool that, that they were willing to do that. And it's not just Gary. Gary's the one that said it, but it's not just him that has the final say in what goes into those videos. So shout out to you guys, Metro, Thrasher, Gary Rogers. You guys are killing it. Actually, I'm almost positive now that I think about it, that it was a Gary response, because those don't go on Thrasher, do they? Thrasher wouldn't want to say anything negative about Nike, would they? Or not too much. Nothing that would be, uh, nothing that would put them at risk.